feel any different being the starter? Uh, I feel good. You know, I can finally get that off of me, uh, but I still gotta, you know, keep being up to par and uh, you know keep going out there competing. And, you know, just leave the guys out there. How did you react when you heard the news? Um, I was excited, obviously. Um, you know, it's a, a huge goal for me. You know, coming from JUCO and then coming out here, just coming to battle, and I just look forward to you know being at this position right now. So just gotta do what I gotta do. Keep the job. How far have you come just as a player mentally and physically since you got on campus and through spring and now through offseason? A lot. Um, and I've seen that over film too. Uh, Coach Hensar, you know, he would stand on me in spring and, you know, trying to help me stop moving up in the pocket too much and, you know, and doing those things. But, uh, you know, I feel like I got more comfortable with the offense and, you know, got I got the chemistry with the wideouts and, you know, it just started showing and we just started. You know, connecting, and um, you know, it, it, it took it took a while to you know get it clicking. I just wanted to all happen in spring, but you know, it takes some time. So, when you watch that film, when you watch yourself on film, what are the the top two or three things that you see that you think, oh, well, I got it now, or I figured that out? Um, just uh, coverage recognition. Um, you know, seeing seeing what coverage our defense is going to, and you know, once I see that, it helps me uh, get to the right side of the of the ball. Um, Get the get the ball to the playmakers, so I feel like that was really the biggest thing. Um, you know, I, I see myself, you know, coming more decisive with my decisions, uh, and that's it. Really. Which yeah, part of your game do you need to continue to grow? Uh, I feel like you know, I just I just gotta play play ball. Uh, you know, I don't really look too much, in, you know, into that uh, it's game prep. Just gotta focus on what I gotta do to get better this week, uh, and you know the rest will take care of itself. What do you anticipate it being like when you, you know, go out there on the field for your first play in you know, the big stadium? Man, you know, I, I'll be able to tell you that after. Uh, I don't know, but you know, I'm just looking forward to getting the, getting the W, um, and you know, focusing on this week, focusing <laughs> on this this game. Uh, I said uh, I couldn't tell you what I. You know, anticipate, but just gonna be ready to play. You and Benny back there together. How exciting of a one-two punch can that be, and what can fans expect? We talk about it all the time. Uh, you know, and Benny's he's a he's a he's a horse. So you know, um, I look forward to being back there with him and making big plays. Uh, and I feel like we can do a lot of big things. Your journey's taking you all over the country. You know, now that you have the chance to take that first snap at this level, how fulfilling is it for you, knowing all your hard work has has finally paid off? Um. It's a, it's a great feeling. Uh, you know, I always have faith, and if I work hard, you know, big things are gonna happen. And so, you know, this started back when I was at JUCO. Uh, and, you know, when I when I did those six months at JUCO, you know, I just always had to keep in my mind that I gotta have the chip on my shoulder wherever I land up at. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, once I got here, I just kept that chip on my shoulder and just worked hard. Um, you know, good things happen. When you first signed, when you first signed, you you uh, said. You important to you, people to see you as a pass first quarterback. Mm -hmm. You think you have made strides to, to, to that, get to that point where you yeah. feel like you, you feel good about being a pass at first? Oh yeah, no doubt. And like I said, that came with uh, you know, knowing the offense. Now that I'm comfortable with the offense, I feel like you know I can throw the ball over the field. So uh, you know I, I still can run the ball, and you know, but I, I look forward to throwing the ball down the field. And, you know, just making big plays all around. You just mentioned the connections with wide receivers. Is there are there any couple that you sort of developed a, a thing yeah. with, or any that all are, of them? Yeah. All of them. Yeah, uh, we all bond together, and you know, all of them out there grinding. Um, we just got out of camp, and you know, we've been working really, really hard, especially at that position. So I'm really excited what they can do. Just to gauge how fast you are, we, we put you up next to the wide receivers and the running backs. Where are you finishing? Yeah, I'm, I'm blowing a box. <laughs> I'm, I'm going. I'm going. I'm out. I'm out. The, I'm out the gate. So. They probably won't like that, but that's just. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, what would you have said three years ago in high school when David Miller sold your first Division One start when you were doing the I wouldn't believe it, um, but you know, I give all glory to God, um, and you know, sometimes you got to take different different routes to get where you want to be. So, um, like I said, I've always kept faith and just kept working hard. You know, not getting too big headed. You know, just staying level. Look at the quarterback as a leader, and Stephen obviously excelled in that that category. Where, where do you feel like you are right now, as far as being a leader? And is it tough to be a leader when you're a guy coming in new, 
when you got so many veterans around you? Um, I mean, I feel like that that, that happened uh, during summer workouts. You know, those guys see me working hard day in day out. Um, you know, and I push them. You know, because I feel like we should, we should all be out here giving our all. You know, it starts it starts then. You know, so we can execute on Saturdays. So I feel like that's where I got my respect from those guys. And, you know, they seen that I was pushing them and you know wanting them to be better. So you know, coming out here and just getting those guys together and rallying them up, I feel like you know they they respect me. So. Does it make your life easier having guys 